In Mexico, Chihuahua is the largest state with many distinct regions. Among these are the region of the upper and lower Tarumar Mountains. Various indigenous tribes live there. Some of them are the Pimas, the Guarujairos, the Tempa Juanes, and the largest tribe, the Tarumaras. All of these inhabitants of the Chihuahua Mountains live in various degrees of poverty. On many occasions, they lack the resources to live with dignity. It has been this way for many generations. There are few opportunities for personal or community development in the areas where they live. Often the need for food causes them to leave their homes and families to look for work or resources elsewhere. There are not enough health services, not enough schools, and not enough jobs where they can make a living wage. Because of the shortages, they are displaced to nearby cities where they search for help to satisfy the needs of their families. In the cities, they find schools for their children, medical services for those who are sick, and jobs where they can earn money to help pay for the needs of their families. Unfortunately, many of the parents fall into alcoholism and drug addiction. The result is that the children are the ones who suffer the most. Many run loose on the streets or are mistreated by their parents when they are drunk. Many of the children are forced to beg or sell trinkets on the streets while their parents wait to take away the money they receive in order to buy more drugs or alcohol. In spite of these abuses, the boys and girls who do enroll in school show the intellectual capacity to succeed. They usually show that they are capable of integrating into society without losing their cultural roots. Guatemoc is the third largest city in the state of Chihuahua behind Juarez and Chihuahua City. It also is the city closest to the Tarumara Mountains. It is for these reasons that large numbers of these needy people arrive in Cuauhtémoc looking for a better life. These types of problems are not only found in, in the indigenous or Indian families, but are also found in the typical Mexican or mestizo families. The needs of all types that are present in these families show how great the call for action is. Frequently, one will see youngsters in the streets washing car windows or selling trinkets. They can easily fall into the grasp of drugs at an early age, particularly if the family suffer from poverty or do not encourage them in school or even remove them from school so they can work. However, not all of them turn out bad. There are many to whom you can offer help, and they are capable of responding and producing great results for themselves and their society. These are the ones that a young Anglican priest from the United States, Father Gregory David Spinks, took the chance of trying to help when they, he came to Cuauhtémoc to establish a church, but also to establish a special place for the street kids of the city who were on their own. He proposed to establish a home for these needy kids. Father Greg did not have a completely clear picture of what he wanted to achieve, but one of his primary objectives was that the kids living in the street would have a refuge where they could grow up and attain personal and emotional stability. It would be a place where they could feel the love and affection that they could not find at home, if they had a home. A place where they would feel loved and be cared for. The families from which these families came were totally dysfunctional. There were families full of emotional problems and usually totally lacking in material support. Many of the boys had suffered from violence. A teacher named Goretti Larma offered her support in this ministry for that Father Greg had started. She taught classes and cooked and she put the house in order and washed the clothes. On October 8, 2001, Goretti came to cook and to help at the home. She knocked on the door of Father Greg's room, but there was no response. After knocking and calling his name at the door, there was no response. Finally, they were forced to break open the door and they found Father Gregory dead on the floor. The diagnosis was that he had died due to a heart attack. It was a terrible shock for everyone, and it seemed like a nightmare. The boys felt the one who had offered them so much love and protection had gone. From one night to the next day, the one who had offered them so much care and encouraged their confidence was gone. On May 21st, 
2003, La Gran Familia de Gregory AC was incorporated as a Mexican nonprofit corporation. The record of service to the community has been long and varied. The primary goal has never changed. The priority is to rescue boys and girls that are in difficult life situations and to provide them the support that they need to become productive citizens for the community. The amount of education that they attain may vary, but the goal is that they all become productive citizens. Among the first fruits that we realized was Minerva. While part of La Gran Familia de Gregory, she graduated as a registered nurse. She now works at the Central Hospital in Cuauhtémoc. She became able to afford to bring her family from the mountains. Recently, she married and has begun her own family. In 2014, Jorge Luis graduated from Universidad de Chihuahua in Cuauhtémoc with a degree in engineering. He had come to live at La Gran Familia when he was in junior high school. He completed junior high, senior high, and graduated from the university while living at La Gran Familia. He now works as an engineer for an international company that has a plant in Cuauhtémoc. He is married and his wife has a law degree. Eduardo had graduated from with an MBA while his sister is in her fourth year of university studies. There is no doubt that La Gran Familia was instrumental in their studies. They were 14 and 15 when they arrived. Their mother had very limited financial resources and their father had died years ago. Carlos is another young man that is studying architecture at the university. He was four years old when he came, and today he is 22 years old. La Gran Familia de Gregory not only shelters the children in difficult times, but it also works with families that are leaving the mountains while having little money or resources. La Gran Familia is now 19 years old, and Cuauhtémoc and the surrounding communities have benefited from our services. We now have a board of directors, and we are administered by Martín Córdoba. The goal of La Gran Familia de Gregory is to support boys, girls, and youth of the area around Cuauhtémoc, helping them to be productive citizens in the community. In 2013, we began construction on a new building. It has six dormitories, one library, a computer lab, a playroom, three bathrooms, administrative offices, and offices for tutors and counselors. At La Gran Familia de Gregory, we seek to promote human values and spiritual values that will help our children achieve a better quality of life and personal development. We offer them the benefits of housing, meals, formal education, and spiritual and psychological formation. We provide care and support for all our children at all levels, from infants, kinder, elementary, secondary, high school, and university level. With your support, we will continue this fruitful ministry. We thank you for your donations from the bottom of our hearts.